Hello everyone. Welcome to Cityville Part 4. Last time I expanded the uh, residential and commercial area in the northeast of the city. Uh, this time I'm going to do a little bit of work along the highway going north-south and then uh, work on expanding the northeast uh, quadrant some more uh, with uh, higher density uh, development. Okay, so along the highway, I'm going to put up some sound barriers here and those will uh, essentially they'll uh, decorate things uh, nicely and they also have something of a park effect which is quite useful for um, improving desirability now right they're under the misc transportation i believe yes there they are uh, okay, let's see. We need some bends here. There. the wrong one. Okay. Need the other corner here. And one, two. Whoops. And there. And let's see. other corner there okay let's see and that one there and there okay that should be the corners now now the straight bits You can see an immediate effect on the surrounding area as I build these things. Okay, now for some diagonals. There we go. Okay, clean up the glitch there. Now that the uh, sound walls are there, you can see there's some space in here to add some additional zoning. So I'll do that. So over here. Uh, 
Actually, this road should be here. And this fence should be back one more tile. Oops. There we go. And eventually this will move over to the highway here and move along to this interchange. Oh, look, the city needs more power. Okay, so some more commercial here. There we go. And make sure the uh, water system is present as well. And we'll need another one over here. Okay, somewhere in here I'm going to need a wider road, probably along here. Yes, that one makes sense. So I'll extend the road across here just as a placeholder. Okay, there we go. Now which side do I want to widen it on? I'll widen it on the south side. Okay, so I'll start doing that over here. And eventually I'll push it back over here, but for now we'll leave it alone. Okay, and we'll go for actual high density here. And still medium here. Yeah, if you're having a little trouble hearing me, I'm recording this part um, with other people uh, doing things, and I'm trying to avoid disrupting their um, their event. Okay, so this is uh, some medium. Uh, residential up here and I'll put some more of that here 
it's a really good idea with the, the denser zoning to uh, mix up the uh, residential and commercial uh, just so that uh, the commute times can even out uh, better. Okay, and I'll have a road coming down here. Might as well make a connection out of it as well. And this one will come all the way out, and so will this one. Uh, more residential here I think there we go and this can be commercial okay and check on the water situation Okay then. Oh, it looks like the water capacity is exceeded now. Uh, so I'll find where the water pumps are. And what I'm going to do is, since we have a sufficient budget now, I'm going to replace these two pumps with a single larger one. There we go. That should mean, yes, the water system should be uh, solid for uh, some time now. Here we have the um, problem that can come up if uh, a lot gets split and then there's no road access. So here I'll just uh, add a new zoning. Actually, I'll make it too long and expand the grass here. Okay. Actually, I think I'll make this one an avenue as well. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Right, make sure the intersections are complete as well. Now, over here, no power. No, that's patently wrong. Uh, Okay, so we need some schools and stuff over here. So what options have we got? This time I think we'll use a large uh, capacity school uh, for the elementary. Okay, and make sure it has road access. And also We need a high school. And 
again, we'll use a large one. And put it here. Okay. That should sort out the education problem over here. Once it has time to filter into the simulation. Uh, yes, that's much better. Okay. Now, I think probably some fire coverage is going to be beneficial over here as well. Okay, there's a fire station there. So actually, right about here is probably right. goes to that intersection. Doesn't quite make that intersection. I'll put one here as well. Okay. I think I'll bring this across here now as well. Okay, over to there at least. Uh, no, keep going. Okay, so when I bring it through here, I might as well turn this into park space. I'm going to have to clear this so it'll build. Okay.
actually, I'll put plazas here. Yeah, I think I've decided it's going to be a an avenue all the way down that way. So I might as well construct it. And of course, intersections are always problematic when you're doing that. Now, The problem is how does the avenue get over there? Like this one should move diagonally. So break out the curves again. There we go. And there's one. Use the flex curve. Okay. Right. That street is in the way. again okay that doesn't quite work but let's get a reference point here makes it a lot easier to figure out what lines up if there's a reference point Okay, let's try that again. Okay. Okay, apparently that's still in the way. Uh, try again here. Okay. That's the one that lines up here. No, no. That, I think that's the one. Yes. Okay. Okay. That lines up now. And that just leaves. 
That's not even needed actually anymore. And we'll take an intersection off here. And right. through here like so so really I need a curve here as well so I'll build one uh, where is again need the curves there we go oops that lines up. Whoops, no, that's not right. There we go. And line that up. There we go. And we'll Okay, excellent. Now we still need some more residential, so put some up here. And okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. And we'll use high density here. Because the rich types really like living on hills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. Okay, and now for some water. And fill in properly here. Okay. Now let's see what happens. Okay, this um, private school, there's no reason not to build it, so I'll do that. And I'll put it here.
Okay. So. Uh, clearly, we need some additional health care in the city. So, we'll build another hospital. And we'll put it. Uh, let's see. We'll put it right about here. It should make these guys a lot happier. Now. Let's remove this. Okay, now it talked about another cemetery. We'll put that, we'll put that over here. Now, the um, radio station is definitely worth having, so we'll put it over here. Ah, there we go. We now have access to solar power, which means we can reduce some of our pollution footprint. The cool thing about the solar power is Sims don't mind living next to it. But, well, Go and set up over here. No, no, we won't. We'll actually set up a solar power farm over here. several of these. We have four. Uh, we have several uh, coal plants, so we'll need several of these. They're slightly lower capacity than the uh, coal plants, uh, which means they do need, uh, you do need more of them. So that's three of those. It means we can definitely demolish two of these. Well, we got several of them in before the uh, prerequisites went away again.
Let's add some more of the lower density stuff here. Let's finish filling this in here. Okay, now I need to fill in the water for the rest of this. Okay, so that gives us um, some nice um, filled in area here uh, with some bigger roads involved. Um, some higher density stuff up here. And we have a nice uh, sound wall along the highway over here. Now, I think like ultimately this is going to come all the way across here at least up to this road uh, and perhaps next time I'll widen this road out but it will require some work over here um, let's see I need to also work on 
uh, gaining some additional um, high wealth uh, sims uh, so that we can get back the uh, solar plant. Still, these will continue operating for until they need to be replaced, uh, even without the prerequisites, so it's perfectly fine that that happened. Um, eventually, I think this will come, come straight up to the highway and be a flyover here. Um, I'll probably have an interchange over here. Uh, I'm not sure, though. I may not. I may just have another flyover. Uh, this being a big highway, it wouldn't be unreasonable to have longer gaps between the uh, interchanges. Um, so it's uh, it may just be two flyovers here, but there will be at least two uh, crossovers here, whether they're interchanges or not. And there will probably be another flyover over here. I think this area here will end up being residential and this area here will end up being largely commercial and possibly with some industrial stuff down here. I'm not entirely sure yet, uh, but um, with this development here and the adjustments to the roads, uh, I'm going to call this a part. And, um, which reminds me, I should save it. Uh, I'll call this a part, and, uh, and then I'll I'll be looking for a couple of the uh, uh, add-ons, mods that I had previously been using uh, to uh, reinstall them before I get. Uh, too far along on the next uh, part. Um, anyway, uh, as you can see the uh, aerial view here is starting to look a little less regular. Um, all it takes is a few major roads to bend around. Anyway, um, I'm going to call this a part now and that thank you for watching uh, part four of the cityville development i'll see you again in part five